What percentage good versus bad are you? Do you consider yourself a good person? Lots of people do, but not all of them are. Whether you're a goody two-shoes sweetie or the devil's best friend, one million tests is going to reveal all the truth about you. Are you ready? Just choose your answers and count your stars. You'll have 10 questions and five seconds to decide. Remember to let me know about your results in the comment section below. Shall we start? If you were a Disney character, which one would you be? Gaston from Beauty and the Beast. Scar from The Lion King. Elsa from Frozen. I love all these cartoons. They are so nice and thought-provoking. Do you love them too? Gaston gets two stars. Scar gets three stars. Elsa gets one star. Question number two. Did you take the last piece of cake? No. Maybe. Sorry, but I needed it. What's your favorite type of cake? As always, I'm waiting for your answers in the comments. Your stars. One, two, three. Question number three. How often do you fake being sick? Whenever I feel really depressed. Every once in a while. Whenever I don't want to do something. What is it that you always avoid doing? Homework? Vacuum cleaning? Or something else? Catch the stars. Three, one, two. Question number four. How do dogs react to you? They want to play. They bark. They don't usually react. Do you have a dog pet? What's its name and what breed is it? Your stars. One, two, three. Question number five. Which Avenger is your favorite? Captain America. Iron Man. Thor. Which Avengers episode do you find the most interesting? Why? Captain America gets one star. Iron Man gets three stars. Thor gets two stars. Question number six. Select a powerful word. Crush. Rule. Inspire. What is the most powerful word that you use in your daily speech? Crush gets two stars. Rule gets three stars. Inspire gets one star. Question number seven. Do you have a kind and gentle soul? Yes, this describes me 100%. Sometimes I'm kind, but other times, I'm really mean. No, I'm the polar opposite. Are you enjoying our videos as much as we enjoy doing them for you? Share this quiz with your best friends so that they can enjoy our test too. Here are the stars. One, two, three. Question number eight. Do you think you could ever be a supervillain? Maybe. Probably not. Definitely. Which of the fictional villains do you find the scariest? Your stars. Two, one, three. Question number nine. 
you're scrolling social media and someone has posted another lost dog in your hometown. Do you share? Yes. If it really pulls my heartstrings, maybe. No. Have you ever saved an animal from trouble? Will you tell me this story, please? Your stars. One, two, three. Question number 10. Are you self-critical? Not at all. I'm perfect. No, I try to focus on how I can improve rather than castigating myself. Sometimes, I just want to be the best, you know? Most of us consciously aspire to be the best we can, and self-criticism can serve us as a tool for measuring our efforts and achievements. Your stars. Three, one, two. Yes, you did it. Are you ready for the results? Just add up your points and let's see what you got. You got from 10 to 14. 73% good, 27% bad. At the end of the day, you're mostly a good person, but there's a spice of evil to your personality which ensures that you're no square. You rarely misbehave, but you don't tattle either. You've got the kind of personality that most politicians try to project. Congratulations on being so great. You got from 15 to 20. 41% good, 59% bad. There's an interesting blend of good and evil in you. Most people consider you to be rather bad, but your friends and family know that you've got a heart of gold. In fact, with a little bit of effort, you could become a totally moral person. But will you choose to redeem yourself? Only you know the truth. You got from 21 to 25. 25% good, 75% bad. Well, you're very bad. But it's the fun kind of bad, like Hans Gruber in Die Hard or Ursula in The Little Mermaid. Yes, you're selfish, amoral, and totally nuts, but we love it. The good part of you loves joking, beauty, and life, which is why you still have friends, even though you're a wicked character. Someday you'll be caught and punished for your crimes, but we hope that day isn't soon. You got from 26 to 30. 6% good, 94% bad. Whoa. You're very bad. So bad that you're kind of an evil icon. Like your compatriots Lestat the Vampire, Saruman and Cruella de Vil. You're elegant, intelligent, and always dressed for success. When you really want something, even your worst enemies are surprised by how ruthless you can be. However, there's no one who doesn't respect you. What result did you get? Please tell us about it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to click the subscribe button for more cool tests.